Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for showing up. This is gonna be part two carving mini bears out of a two by four. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and stick around. So if you saw part one, you know we carved all these bears with a chainsaw. My battery operated MSA 160C, made by steel. That saw did all the work you see here. We've got an eight foot rough cut two by four. That means it's actually two inches thick by four inches wide and obviously eight feet long. Now all the little bears you can see here were carved strictly with a chainsaw thus far. Today, I'm gonna walk you through finishing them up, detailing them. I'm lucky enough to have my woodworking shop here in a bandsaw. So I'm gonna be splitting all the bears off this two by four with my bandsaw. I'm gonna be just cutting each one off and making a pile before we start cleaning them up. Now if you guys don't have a bandsaw, that's no big deal. Take this back outside, put it in your jaw horse like it was in the first video. Get your saw out and just start cutting each one. All right guys, now that we've got our bears all separated and a nice big pile here to start working on, we've got to figure out what you're going to use for power tools to clean them up. Now you could use a Dremel or a power carver. I've got a Fordham SR power carver here with a couple different hand pieces. I've got two hand pieces. They each have the same bit but a different grit. Now the bits I use are from Sabretooth. This is what they call the eye bit. They're both eighth inch shafts. This is a fine and this one's the coarse. Now I'll be using those to clean these bears up and add just a little bit of detail. I'm not gonna be putting a ton of detail in them, but I do wanna refine the arms and the legs. We're gonna refine maybe some eyes, get these ears shaped out, get that snout shaped out a little bit better. I do wanna give a quick shout out though to Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion. He uh, really gave me a hand in figuring out which flex shaft to get and which hand pieces to get as well. Um, I was using the original shaft that came with us and that broke and well he was able to give me an idea of what shaft to get this nice heavy duty shaft and these heavy duty hand pieces and this is going to be the first time I'm using them so I'm pretty excited to uh, put these things to work with these new saber tooth bits. So again thank you Jordy for the help. If you guys want to check out his page actually you know what I recommend you check out his channel. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. You guys can jump right on over to Carving Fusion and see the work he's doing. He does some really cool stuff. He's got some step-by-step -step tutorials for power carving. And I don't know, he's pretty fun to watch. So be sure to check that out. And give him a little bit of support, give him a thumbs up, and hit subscribe to his channel as well. All right, let's start getting into cleaning these guys up. I'm gonna bring the camera in nice and close. Most of my face is gonna be cut off, but I want you guys to be able to see what we're doing, what I'm doing. So here's the rough shape of our bear up close and personal. They're all very similar. They're different, but they're similar. And so the technique and what we're gonna do will pretty much stay the same for each one. Now I'm gonna start off with the, the green bit. This is the heavy grit or coarse grit. And then if it needs it, we'll refine it with the yellow fine grit on the other hand piece that I have. Now the nice thing about the Fordham is you can go forward or reverse and you got this foot pedal so I don't have to have this on and off switch and I can adjust with my foot how fast this thing is spinning. You guys can hear it too. Alright now I'm also going to be putting my RZ dust mask on for this as we're going to create probably a bunch of fine dust which is always fun. And as always, I'm going to try to put links in the description below to the tools we're using today, the dust mask, whatever whatever I can. So if you guys need something or you're wondering where to get it, you'll be able to follow that link through Amazon, uh, purchase that, or find something similar. Also, any purchases made through those links help support this channel, which helps it grow. Thanks. So we're looking at our bear, right? He's got to get cleaned up. I want to work on the bears just like I do when I'm carving them with a chainsaw. And that means working from the top down. So if you got these little pieces sticking out behind the ears, we're going to round those over and shape them into the body. 
we're going to carve out this little ledge here between the ears and shape these ears over some. We'll also be rounding the top of the face here so it has more of a rounded look and it's not such a triangle shape. And then we'll be coming into the snout before we start working on the body. So you can see I'm rounding behind the ear and I lop that corner off. The other thing will be to kind of hit this edge just a little. Now keep in mind, the more time you put in these and the more work you put into them, the nicer they are and you can command a little bit better price. But at the same time, you're not gonna make $100 off these. These are like a 10, $15 top kind of sale. It's, it's gonna be really tough to get too much more than that depending on where you live. Now I've seen people in other places they can sell these things for a little bit more. So it's all gonna be about the detail you guys put into them and the time you put into them on top of the area you live in. So you gotta feel out where you live or how you market these in order to really command a higher price. I mean, if you can even sell these for a couple dollars, say you make three bucks off one, you've already made back the cost of the two by four. If you make a total of $50 on all these, is that going to make up your time you've spent on them the time to cut them and carve them and then the time to sand them on top of the cost which we know the cost is cheap but those are things to think of if you're making these to sell those are the kind of things to be thinking about <laughs> Something I like to try and do is get rid of all my cut lines. You might have some cut lines on the side. But as you guys can see, we're getting his back rounded around, right? So we're gonna start working now on shaping these ears over a little so they're not so tall and bringing it in around the top of the head. Cutting the top of the head here over some and the same on the other side. See you're starting to shape the face. You see the difference here? Rounding this over, which is gonna make that ear come out this way, and then we'll lop the top off. So we're rounding this on both sides and kind of just smoothing everything in together.
See our little bear here starting to take shape. Got those ears nicely rounded over. The top of the head's rounding over up here. Now I'm gonna come in and actually start cutting this back some and start refining that snout. Now if you've watched some of my other videos on how to carve a bear, you should keep those concepts in mind. The only difference is we're not using the nose of a chainsaw and you're using this power tool. The techniques you use in your big bear carvings is basically the techniques you're gonna use for making these guys. You know, we're trying to make that same basic shape. I came out at an angle right here and scraped away to kind of get that snout shaped like that. You guys can see the difference here, right? He's really starting to come together. I'm going to work on putting the end of the snout where the nose, the nostrils are and stuff like that. All right, so the snout and stuff are done. Now I gotta go in and do the eyes. Now this is the eyeball bit, which is gonna work good on bigger carvings. But we're gonna go in here and just kind of make an indentation for those eyes and then shape the eyebrows if you want. So we got the eyes and that face done. As you can see there. Now what we need to do is start coming in and rounding over all these corners here. We're gonna kind of round in this, and split these arms a little more. This will have a taper up. It'll taper up like that. And that's pretty much gonna round off the bear. I mean, that's, that's pretty much gonna be it. It's on you on how much detail you really wanna put in this. I mean, you gotta think about time and money and all that if you're looking to sell these guys.
All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm not gonna be spending too much more time sanding on these guys. That's that's all that I plan to do right there. Or clean up this spot and hit them with the torch real quick, or you guys could just uh, spray paint them. What I'm gonna do is hit them with the torch really, really quick and just kind of get rid of some of the fuzz that's uh, all over from just sanding and shaping. All right, so I've got my bear on this rock so I'm not burning him right on my, uh, my bench top here. It's kind of storming out, so we'll just do it right inside. Just got my small propane uh, benzomatic torch. And let's see if we got any left. Basically, I'm just going to burn them a light burn. I don't want to get them all charred up because I don't want to have to take the time to flap sand them or anything like that. I just want to get some of that fuzz off. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Just got all that burn off. Now you guys could burn this more, uh, add more details. Obviously you'll have to brush him or sand him or something to get you know most of that charring off, but I've only got a little bit of charring here that I'm not too concerned about. You guys can even carve your initials in the bottom. I'll probably just put mine in with a quick pen or a sharpie just to save time. Carving little bears like this is all about making a neat little piece people will be interested in and saving time. Now, if you're doing them for just gifts, then so be it, do them as gifts. I know I'll be selling these once they're done, and you know this is pretty much what they're gonna look like. Now, these little guys, I'll probably put anywhere, I don't know, three to five bucks a piece on them, give or take, and that's, that's what they'll go for. They're probably gonna be more in that $5 range. I'll spray them with a little bit of clear coat, just to help protect them a little with just a little bit of finish and that that'll be it now I could make a whole video doing all these bears and you know going through all the steps again but I think you guys get it and if you're not sure obviously go back watch this video uh, beginning to end and if you have questions be sure to comment below if you're just tuning into this video watching it for the first time you're like I don't even know how you got that bear to begin with check out part one carving mini bears that'll be popping up in the top here so you guys can follow that link watch part one this is part two and things will probably make a little more sense these are just fun little guys that i do i put these up on my etsy store sell them for a few bucks give people a deal if they buy more than one i'll usually bring i don't know a dozen or so to maybe a craft fair and just set them up kids usually love them uh most most kids end up with five ten bucks to spend at a craft fair and if they want a bear they can't afford a big bear so I, it's, it's always a cool thing when kids can buy these little guys. Usually I suggest they get some paint and they can paint them and boy parents love the idea of making a big mess so <laughs> just try to help you out. That's about it. You know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this set of videos. Be sure to give them a thumbs up and hit subscribe for me. When you guys hit subscribe it really shows your support and that you're really enjoying the content that I'm making. And if you guys want to help support this channel financially, be sure to check out my Patreon account. I'll have a link down in the description below. It says Patreon. You guys can click that, go there, see what that's all about. Any money that you pledge to my channel through my Patreon account helps support this channel, helps propel me that much closer to doing this full time, and it also helps me put out more content for you guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.